SK Dale and his Gengu versus Machamp, which is I I am baffled by this. I'm entertained though that he would just spend so much time in Gengar and not play Bug. But uh, this is I I welcome this completely because we get our our booties kicked by Spud like every week, and I would love to like fight Gengar that is able to make it out here more often. Or, you know, I mean, Spud makes it here a lot, so just the more Gengars the merrier, because I'm tired of having my butt kicked, so I'm not that Uh, Skyrizen, of course, is, uh, showing a lot, li very little fear, because he does such high damage output. SK is getting, like, all of this trickery that, like, I don't think Garchomp really had, because basically Gengar does some mix-ups, but a lot faster. Naturally, he doesn't have as much power or as much AP as Garchomp. But, he gets to do a lot more tricks a lot faster, and he gets to do it while having an evil little grin on his face. Alright, so SK Dale spends like 10 seconds trying to get all this damage, and Machamp does more than that in one grab. That's how this game works. If, I'm, if I sound biased, it's entirely because I am. Oh, wow, what happened there? That is not punishable, is it? I wonder if he hits submission or something. Anyway. Whoa, back why actually catches that? Because Skyrim's not blocked. How on earth did Gengar get first in one round? Well, anyway, he did. And he just, like, mauled that poor rot duck thing. Because as filthy as Machamp is, Gengar burst is even filthier. Alright. Interesting iframes from SK Dale, but it does not save him from Machamp's barrage of projectiles, which is something you don't hear every day. Skyrim has a pretty good idea on what uh, uh, projectiles work for Machamp and which ones don't. There we go, he, this is the second drop kick he's got all day. I can't believe it. It's always amazing and always just like disheartening to get hit by that drop kick. Like I was saying, he's got a really good handle on these Machamp projectiles, and apparently on submission, he is out for blood. Who unfortunately couldn't make it today, he's another player, but anyway. <laughs> he is for blood. Alright, uh, yeah, I heard a what am I doing from Escondale on her chosen miss input, or just a brain cramp. Alright. Counters, ooh, there you go. Catch that filthy submission that I do not like. I mean, I want to see him use a little bit more low stance. I, I'm kind of biased because he goes under a lot of things. I remember Heavy Boy when he was here would just like hot tub the entire dual phase because. And of course, this was many, many months ago. I'm sure Skyrising gets around this cheese now. But it looks funny, and that's what I need to see. Oh, what? You grab that burst? Okay. This is just... Damn, okay, that's not gonna work on the champ. Champ's gonna barely get that wake up slap. He's still gonna have a hard time getting around this. Oh, I lied. I was looking at the wrong HP. Actually, the champ will take this first round of uh, Losers Finals, which I think means it's like another three out of five or something. All right, no changes. We are in the dojo! <laughs> Alright. How did- I looked away for one second. Now we're already in duel. I imagine Gengar won something because there's a tiny bit of damage on Machamp's giant thing of HP. Apparently that counter beat up Machamp's. Looks like he released it earlier. Caught the Vulner player or something. Okay, so a crit hit from Machamp's going to take Gengar down to half. Sylveon's going to take Gengar up to a little bit above half, and that ah, Punch is going to take it back down. Alright, low stance would have probably helped a little bit, but it's only going to get him so far with stuff like that. Now one thing we got to do is stop the Nyx Arrows and get away with all these counters. Because, yeah, like that. We got to do more stuff like that. Skyrim is just going aggro on Gengar, so we can't do anything, and we'll take that for our first round of that game. Alright. Field blasting is just slightly longer this time. There we go. Stuff like that. 
taking away my champ synergy, so he's gonna have to wait a little bit longer the burst, but I'm I'm confident if he doesn't just get murdered in one hit, he's gonna get back like that. Are we gonna see a burst battle or is he just gonna show no fear? Alright, I think Eskadel tried to laser or something. What am I witnessing? Oh my god, combos in a close combat. No fear of this grab thing on the ground. No fear. I'm a little bit of fear, but what is he? What? Oh, this is beautiful. That was actually very stylish. I approve. The limit champ still feel the character. <laughs> Just laughing over there. This is beautiful. <laughs> I heard him a chip with Superman. Alright, so Skyrim's and Zardy up two. I'm seeing some kind of changes happening here. I don't know what. I don't know if I agree where this is going. But, we're gonna put Faith. Okay, special cheer is what he's been using. <laughs> 3 7 matchup. <laughs> I mean, SK Dale can win this, it just sucks. Like, hecking sucks. Uh, and Litten, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with this either. But I know SK Dale likes Litten, I just wish he would use it before it was like the last 10 seconds of the round. Or like, when he's at 2 HP. Oh no! <laughs> he say it to him right off the bat! I'm telling you, you gotta tell Skyrim to not to use counters, because that counter is not very good. Okay, 8x, sorry, 8y is not going to beat a body slam, whatever that is. Alright, uh, SKD, I'm getting a little bit of funny fingers are going on, but Skyrim isn't taking a pretty good lead. Alright, <laughs> I think he might, okay, he's not dead. Please use Lin. I, I, he's waiting for a good opportunity, I understand that. There we go. That's a good opportunity. Catches him in the sand tube. I, I'm hearing it's not optimal, but he's still in a good shape. Oh god! I must have hit just a tad bit too late. Too much Gengu. I don't know. Alright, he's respecting champ, which I respect him respecting champ because Dig beats out the counter. I'm telling you, but champ's counter is something to fear, and so is Stone Edge, apparently. Oh my god, he gets the first feel or first change just by grabbing. Now he's got that combo down to a T. It's, it's unfortunate for him that it face shifts, but it's fortunate for everybody else that plays this. Alright, that is close enough to the block screen. That is not gonna work. Okay. Escadale taunting in my RL, and that clearly got him into a pickle. I'm like, okay, this this is gonna kill, isn't it? This, <laughs> he's just like, I went for the stupidest dog shit I went for. All right, Escadale's just balling this field phase and uh, getting wrecked in this dual phase. Skyrim just loves his dual phase. I don't. If only he could keep him in field phase forever. But honestly, I have a hard time with Skyrim in a field phase because even his dark ride, he just knows his stuff so well. There we go. Chop him into the wall. Okay, I lied. They're actually now they've got equal points in my book in dual phase. Uh, Escadale, of course, is sitting on his burst. Just, just sitting on it. And gets the grab for some reason. I feel like that wasn't optimal. But it worked. Alright, I don't know what that was, but this is a burst. Like, this had to happen. Okay. That was that was not wise. He might live. Okay, he says he's dead. I would believe at this point. He's alive! Go! Alright, can he be punished by Machamp? I know Weavile can't at this range, but... Alright, he's getting HP back. Slowly. Go! Oh, exhaust frame somewhere. Oh, what was that? I don't know what it was, but it worked.
Well, anyway, bear in mind, Escadil is, of course, stuck with Garchomp this entire time. Not that Skyrim has any desire to change, but... It's 2-1, yeah. Uh, 2-1 Escadale. He has to win two more rounds with Garchomp in this losing matchup. He's gonna take his shield down to nothing. Now, he doesn't have a lot of synergy to lose, so he probably could just keep- Where did- How did his shield come back? I don't get this game. I am sorry, I should pay more attention. BAM! Oh my god. What 7-3 matchup are you talking about? This is- this is- this is a- <laughs> The one that he's really good. <laughs> Oh no, okay. What? Okay, Skyrim's got like the mouth, like just the words of regret not grabbing that. Okay. A little bit of funniness going on. SK Dale's just uh, profiting off of this. Making some bank into the wall. Getting that game. Or sorry, round. Oh, oh, oh my god, they're having so much fun with this in this uh, free bracket, it's just fun to watch. Okay, um, champ shenanigans, that's not gonna do a ton. Yeah, for guard champ, that's not a lot. He's still got over half his health. Ah, the, okay, just a little bit shy of the grab punish. But my champ will slam him back into the corner. I don't know what he was trying to go for, Escadale, just now, but it did not work. That will work, that will work perfectly. Now he has. There we go. I was about to say, please use that. Oh god, that was just a web of danger right there for everybody. Escadale hanging on by the skin of his teeth. I guess when they said Pokemon Stadium back in the day. All right, trying to dragon rush his way through the screen. If he could catch Skyrim's vulnerable frames, he could do this. What was that? What is this? This is death. Death for Escadale and a point for Skyrim. As Skyrim, of course, is on set point right now. Alright, when are we gonna see the burst? Because we're gonna see both of them, I can only imagine. Or they're goofy. There we go. Profit off of that. Alright, what, what is Kale push? Shield. Good. Oh no! What? On Earth? Machamp can't catch the fish right now! Of course, Machamp doesn't have burst, so that's a lot of pressure off Escadale's back. Uh, I don't I exactly know what he's trying to go for. He, uh, maybe Garchomp just can't pressure Machamp as much as I would think he can? Alright, well anyway, it's good that he didn't commit to the, uh, the burst attack and then get punished for it. I don't actually know what Machamp punish is for that burst attack, but it's Machamp. I can't imagine he's any good for Escadale. All right, he's even. Escadale's evening this out though, and even more so with Release X, bringing Machamp up closer. I don't. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. This, this pocket stand is already a good a utility. Litten, is that gonna work? That only kind of worked because this guy had a ton of health and it didn't keep going. Oh boy, those spaceship points have been reset, you know, from zero back to zero. Escadale, of course, now is now in rage. Oh, crit, Dragon is gonna kill him. No, it won't. I just gotta sleep for one more second. <laughs> they knew it. They knew. Guys, stop taking this to game five. <laughs> I swear. Alright, look, whoever wins this better come and commentate because my voice is going to heck right now. Or whoever loses better commentate. Wait. Hold on. Somebody changed something, and I'm not entirely sure what. What am I gonna witness? Okay. Yeah, I mean, Skyrim almost never switches from a champ unless it's a, like, a new player. But he, he's good at using a lot of support, so what are you gonna see? He's got- oh god, he's got an Eevee. He- man has an Eevee. I don't actually remember what he had before, but it was not Eevee. The champ with an Eevee is- The second thing of Nightmares, I'd say the first is not Darkrai, but Empoleon with Eevee and the U with the defense debuff. That is the thing of Nightmares. But moving on. Uh, Escadale is having this dual phase all to himself. 
Take Skyrim isn't down lower than his HP. Do they have the same HP? I don't remember. I think my champ is the most of the game. I don't know if they can high though. Um. All right, Eevee starting off strong. He's got to land a hit for this to be useful though. Oh no! He gets crit dive bomb by Garchomp and pumped into the blender. All right. All right. He makes a little bit of use out of that tag buff and more use. And now this is where it gets gross. All right, Eskadale has Litten, but he's got to find a way to use it without getting hit, because if he gets hit once, he's dead. Or, oh god. Okay, Machamp is up so high, I don't even know where he is. All right. Eskadale's still technically at a deficit, because he's only got 8 HP left. What? What did I just witness? Oh my god, he just grabbed Eskadale. Out of release X, I that's an attack. How does that even how does that compete? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he gets patched. What? <laughs> okay, I can able to start out with a YOLO grab. Revenge for that last round, I suppose. Blender is not going to catch a heavy slam, whatever it is. I don't know why he throwed AY, but it worked out just fine for him. Let's see. Alright. Back it up. Back it up. What? Is that gonna save him? Not quite. Maybe he had done it a little earlier. <laughs> We've been over my champ's head. The right. champ in the corner. Not going down without a fight. Going aggro with this homing. Right. No blunder yet. Gets hit by the heavy slam, but it's okay, we're alive. We're good. Alright, he's gonna murder that air grab this time. No air grabbing for Sky Raisin. Does not get a chance to use the burst, but basically also doesn't get a chance to get punished for using his burst, which is good. When are we gonna see the- okay, so Eskadale's got this whole digging Machamp's thing down to a T, it looks like. Which is pretty grand. Um, Machamp, unfortunately for Eskadale, has a attack buff, an attack buff. Getting gravy. Yeah, I don't actually- <laughs> He's taunting lit over there. Okay, little Sky Raisin, take it. Needs just that one hit, and he's got this. Alright, Fumu just has, like, the, the joy on his face about to fight Sky Raisin. He's so 